involvement, COM 309. That's where all the clubs and other organizations are uh, housed. We have over 70 clubs, so I'm inviting you guys to come and check it out and you get some time. And that's it. Thank you. And speaking of the t-shirts, well, you can get your uh, men's national basketball championship t-shirts right in the back there. And if you're interested in a half marathon national championship t-shirt, you can place an order with them back there as well. So go out and get your t-shirts. They're, uh, I think they're right around $10 or so. So, so support your Cavaliers. Wear it proudly on your chest, you bet. All right. Now I'd like to welcome Athletic Director of Johnson County Community College, Mr. Carl Heinrich. As an Athletic Director, you look forward to these opportunities to get up and celebrate uh, the great memories that these young men and, and ladies achieved this year, and this is the hope that every team has is to be the best in the nation. There's over 1,100 community colleges in the United States. And to be either first or second in the nation is an unbelievable accomplishment and a lot of sweat and a lot of hard work that these young athletes have put in, not only on the basketball court, but also in the classroom. What they achieve in the classroom is extremely important. And because of their success, there's many people that, that are involved in this process. And they're behind the scenes, and it, it's, it's people like the Board of Trustees that we would like to thank. Dr. Callaway for his efforts and, and support, because we couldn't do any of this without him. Uh, there's some other people, Dr. Grove, Dennis Day, Pam Vassar and student activities. You guys wouldn't have any money if it wasn't for her. So. Uh, there's a lot of people that are at games, matches, the security, housekeeping, audiovisual, the TV studio, and all the work that they do. Jay Glass and his staff for putting this on. Give Jay a round. Food's great. There's a young man that was almost at every one of the basketball games, almost every one of the volleyball games, uh, at the National Half Marathon. He's worked his tail off. He works for the Campus Ledger. Cameron, we appreciate all your help. AJ, the student body is, plays a very important role in athletics at this campus. And if you could make sure that you get the word back to all the student body and how much we appreciate their support and what, in a comprehensive community college, what it means for students to be involved in the program is extremely important. We appreciate everything that you've done. Thank you. Well, many thanks to all of you who support the whole year and behind the scenes things that you do. I've said enough at this point in time the great memories that these young men and women have created for themselves are, is a lifelong journey and it, it's a life-changing experience for all of them. It's something that will never be taken away from them. For freshmen, it's, it's a goal and where the bar has been set for something else for them to achieve. You are to be congratulated for what you've done, but you aren't done. Get your degrees, get your education, enjoy the moment, and move on and let it be a great experience and a great memory for you all. It's time for you all to hear from the people that are the most important, and that's the coaches at this time and team. So I'll turn it back over to Boomer. Thank you. Now I'd like to invite head coach Jenny I of the women's volleyball team up to say a few words about her team. Coach I. Thank you, 
you for coming. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank the voice of the Cavaliers, Boomer. He has been outstanding at every match. He brings such enthusiasm, and we would not be the same without him. So please, for Boomer. We had a fantastic season this year. We were 30 and four. We finished second in the nation. And if it wasn't for the hard work of these great group of women, I'd like to introduce you guys. So if you please stand, sophomore and two-time All-American, Sydney Pemberton. <laughs> sophomore, Caitlin Schaffstall. Sophomore and two-sport athlete, Ivy Morrison, Ivy. Sophomore, Taylor Pruitt. We had a large group of freshmen this year that did a wonderful job for us. Freshman, Beth Brummer. Freshman, Cody Lawrence. Freshman Jordan Lockwood. Freshman Katie O'Connor. Freshman Susan Shaw. Last but not least, Tori Lineman. Yeah, and we would like to thank all the administration, the athletic office, Tyler, Brett, Pam for coming to National with us, and student activities for paying for it. Thank you very much. Um, also, uh, Carl and Dr. Calloway for supporting the athletic programs. Um, also, for the athletic teams that came to our matches, it really was important to see your faces. And the tennis team, they traveled to away games. So we'd like to thank you guys so much for being great fans. And again, thank you and congratulations to both the half marathon and the men's basketball team. Thank you, Coach I. Now I'd like to introduce uh, head coach of the women's half marathon team, Coach Mike Blumker. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank the uh, college and the administration here to allow us to host the half marathon. I uh, went to Carl about a year and a half ago and said, Carl, I really would like to host the half marathon championships. And he kind of looked at me like I was crazy. And I said, look, it will give us a huge advantage if we can uh, host this where we train every Sunday. And obviously, it helped out a little bit. So I've got a wonderful group of young ladies. Um, just to give you an idea how they did this year overall during cross country, they lost one regular season meet, that was at Disney World, we lost to uh, uh, some Division I schools. And then when we got to postseason, uh, they lost it, they were second at regionals, and they, got only, they only got beat by the team that was ranked number one in the nation. And then at National Cross, they ended up sixth. Half Marathon was one of the most unbelievable half marathon championships we've been at. They've carried on a proud tradition here. This is the fourth time we've won this uh, particular championship. Uh, I'll just name off the ladies as they uh, actually finished. Timmer Ymir, she's a sophomore, she's a 10-time All-American, and Timmer was fourth overall. Frances Gibson, she's a sophomore. Frances is a seven-time All-American, she was fifth. Sarah Stark, sophomore, she was uh, sixth overall, and she's a five-time All-American. Haley Snow, freshman. Renee Green, she's a sophomore. Kayla Harris, freshman, and she's, she uh, earned All-American Indoor Track this year. Heather Kachi and Emily Cruz. I'd like to give special thanks to my assistant coach, Brian Batliner, my wife, Catherine, who helps me with the women's team. She does an unbelievable job. Kate Sultanova and Kyle Rutledge. Kyle runs all the results for me and does a fantastic job with that. And I'd like to offer congratulations to the women's volleyball and the basketball team. Great job this year, and thank you so much. And now I'd like to invite head coach Mike Jeffers to the podium to say a few words about his men's basketball team. Thank you, Coach Ivy.
Well, first, let me just echo the uh, sentiments of all the other coaches that have spoken so far and congratulating the, the women's cross country team on their half marathon championship, the volleyball team on their runner up national finish. Um, our guys, 